Hey loves, welcome to my channel. My name is Jessica Maria, your favorite hijabi mama bear. And today we are going to be doing my project pan. I'm really excited for this because I have been working for probably now the last like two years with like a six month hiatus, working on curating my collection to the only the products that I really, really love and really, really uh, get good use out of because <laughs> If you don't know already, I have a makeup passion and I got really out of hand with it for a few years and had way too much makeup and I still have way too much makeup, but I wanted to get my collection down to a more digestible, more functional, functional, there we go, more functional collection that serves me and brings me joy to see and look at and everything because before it was like I had like a million blushes I had a million highlighters but then I only really used like four or five of them so now I'm at the point where a lot of my makeup has been curated I have really gotten things down to a smaller amount and now I'm at the point where I'm looking at things and reassessing so my project pan is kind of gonna be centered around that for 2021 and I have several products here. I have a few groups of products that I'm not sure if I actually like these products or if I just am still keeping them because I'm like, oh, but I gotta keep these. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna be working through those as well to see are these things that I really like, are these things that I really wanna keep. And so that's gonna kind of be part of my project pan too. So you may be seeing like declutters of certain things really soon because, sorry, there's like dust, uh, because I might be finding out that I don't actually enjoy it or I don't really like how it performs and I can pass it on to someone else who can use it so it doesn't go to waste. So the first few months of my project pan is actually gonna be a process of me curating a few different categories in my makeup as well. And one of those categories is my foundation. So at the moment, I just literally pulled out my foundation drawer. This is my foundation drawer. There is literally no way I will ever use all of these. And the amount of foundations that I'm probably gonna keep, I still probably won't ever be able to use all of these. But I know for a fact that like, I can't possibly love all of these. So I want to, over the next month or two, go through, make sure that I use these each individually plenty and find out whether or not I still love them if I do or don't and if I don't pass them on if they haven't expired or gone bad uh, to someone who will use them so that's the first little category that I'm gonna be working on panning slash curating right so the next category is my concealers so this is my drawer of concealers and it's still definitely too many concealers for me but I think there's still some in here that I could curate and let go of that I know I don't necessarily that I won't necessarily love or even think is good so I'm gonna be going through this in the next couple months and using them and seeing what I do and don't like see if anything's gone off anything like the next category is my face primers so this is my little face primer drawer and I really don't have that many. I have five here, and then I also have one that is almost out. It has maybe one or two more uses. It's a little Smashbox Photo Focus uh, primer. <laughs> I know this isn't that many, but I am almost positive that I don't like this one, although I wanna use it a few more times because I know in the summer I don't like it because I sweat too much and then it fills up, and I just don't like how it makes my face look after wearing it for a few hours. So I wanna use this here in the winter and maybe I can try and pan it throughout the winter. We'll see what happens, but I do wanna use these as well and just make sure these are products that I want in my collection. The next category is a true pan, or a true want to pan. <laughs> um, even though it's like a whole category, I do wanna actually pan all of these. And uh, I don't think I will be panning literally all of them in 2021 but I'm gonna work on getting through a good chunk of them and that is eyebrow products so yeah literally all the eyebrow products that I have left are benefit right now and that's because I got it in like gift sets with like multiples and things like that at like holiday times or like semi-annual sale or whatever 
But you know how Benefit always has like those gift sets and especially with their eyebrows, right? With their eyebrow products. So I know that my absolute favorite eyebrow product is actually the Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow and it's in ash brown. And I don't have that right now because I panned it and I finished it and I want to use these up so they don't go to waste before I go and purchase another one. So I definitely want to pan these as like as quickly as I can but using them not wasting them so these are all on my list of panning for this year so the next product is the sweetie pie bronzer by Too Faced and this is actually one of my favorite can't open it this is why I shouldn't bite my nails okay so this is actually one of my favorite bronzers as you can see it already has a huge pan in it it is more than halfway gone and I just want to pan the rest of it. I already have a backup waiting to go and I just want to make sure that I use it up and reach for it because it's nearly, since I hadn't been doing makeup for like six, eight months, it is nearly a year old and um, it's starting to change a little bit. So I'm hoping to finish this up within the next month or two. So the last item is actually an item that I'm not sure if I even like it and that's why I want to pan it because it's already a, uh, two or three years old if I'm being honest <laughs> completely honest and I just haven't gotten very much use out of it because I wasn't really doing contouring for a while but I'm kind of back into contouring just not as like strong of a contour as I say that I'm looking at my face and I'm like honey you got a strong contour going but anyway <laughs> I'm back into contouring and I'd like to start contouring again so I want to pan this naked skin palette and you can see it has a double mirror on both sides and this side is powder and then this side is cream so I thought it was like a great contouring palette to use up and at least hit pan in this year but my goal is to use it up so that's the last product. So I know like some of these products are like things that I'm not sure if I want to curate, pan, or you know, give away. But I do have some true project pans in this uh, group of things. So no matter what, I'm pretty positive I'm gonna have stuff till the end of the year to work on for the project pan. But here in the first few months, it's gonna look a little different. It's not gonna look like a traditional project pan, but that is what I was feeling and wanting to do with my collection. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and you want to see the next one. I plan on doing updates probably over two to three weeks, maybe even once a month because I'm not sure like what the progress will be. I feel like in the first few months there might be more progress and there might be more content to talk about as I go through those foundations and concealers and primers and things. So that is my project of 2021. You guys let me know down in the comments if you're doing any of these products as well or what products you're panning. And I will see you guys next time. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe before you go. Bye.